generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect where in the previous episode I messed up and spent far too much money on carpet, specifically over in the visitation down here and we put a lot of flooring in. In fact, let you see how much carpet I managed to waste money on and uh, it doesn't say but roughly that size it is... We can't even place it there because it's indoors. Okay, it's roughly the size of the kitchen, right? And that would be... <gasps> Fifteen grand worth of carpet, excellent. Anyway, we also managed to not only spend a lot of money on carpet and flooring, but also put in some common rooms. So we got this done, although it's not, it doesn't actually have a carpet in there, but we'll forego that. We got the laundry and cleaning cupboard in, which I didn't plan on, but I really need to do for grant purposes and getting the money. Infirmary is technically in, but there you are. We also uh, put flying in around here and filled the yard with the bleachers and the weight bench and the floodlights and that sort of thing. In this episode, we want to exclusively look at this area down here where I'm going to remove all of the walls and such because that is not something we are working on at that size. This is going to be our criminally insane area, the wing for the criminally insane, where we uh, look after them and give them treatment and that sort of thing. So what I plan on doing is checking out the padded cells and then building probably a building like the the actual holding cell probably there that's going to be all one big building full for the uh, criminally insane because I, but I don't know what the ratio is you see uh, is it something you can intake separately it is so what we'll do it says available 85 we will have it specifically designed for a certain amount of prisoners and not get any more we might even give it uh, have a few less and then like I say we'll put um, a security room here with a little fence around it and then sort of the treatment along this area but this is all an unknown so this is naturally subject to change so the first thing I recommend we do is check out the quick build and then we can see that there is padded small medium and hold padded holding cells so we will have don't think we need a holding cell although it's not a big problem if we put it there that actually would be quite good wouldn't it if we put that there because it's then next to this however padded small is just a standard cell padded medium is a bit bigger we have a TV and all of the usual stuff in there as well as a shower now I am hmm What's the best way of putting it? I'm not too sure what we should have in here. Um, when it comes to what I think we should have, I'm probably going off a lot of misinformation and out-of-date movies and things like that that basically treated them differently to how we would probably now um and in fact, i think the whole issue is very very sensitive and i'm no if i just i'm not qualified to talk about this so i'm trying not to shy away from the topic but also at the same time i know that um, there's no way no way that i'm uh, qualified to speak on this with any sort of uh, gravity but i don't think if in this game it says that what happens is the orderlies come and put them in a straight jacket at night that we should be having showers inside the cells that's my personal feeling on it. But then again, we might have grading. We might have other things. There is ways and means and reasons why we, would, we should should do things and not others. Um, I'm tempted to have an entrance roughly in the centre, followed by cells either side, and then maybe a common shower. A common shower as well. Probably outside similar to this. That's my first thought. Let's go ahead and see just what sort of size we can have these cells. I'm thinking that sort of size, okay? Because I like the idea of the doors being in the centre. Actually, what I'll do is I'll just go right down like so. And then place the walls, gap, wall, gap, wall, gap, gap, wall. Oh, hang on. Oh, we overdid it there. Careful now. And then we have the bottom bit, which isn't uh, the right size. But that's okay. So that's in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. We could have a shower at the bottom. Uh, it also depends on where the entrance to this place is. Originally, it was going to be here. So we could change it up. What I'm tempted to do. That might not be the player. 
Something like that might be better. Because then we can get in these cells with very little wastage of space. Three by three, all the way along. With an entrance somewhere in the middle. That seems a bit cramped, but I don't know whether it is. Because originally the one was a bit bigger, wasn't it? It was, um, it was four either side. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe not that. Maybe not that. It will mean getting rid of that and making it at least two larger to there. So obviously all that's internal. Yeah, that going across. And it just looks like someone's just mashed buttons in Excel, but it'll come together eventually, don't worry. Um, and these are the... Each of the cells. Which is quite a number of them, isn't there? Oops, careful now. And... Could possibly get... That one in there. Okay, so there's that in. Obviously, we don't have any of that. I mean, we do have that, but... Don't have that. And these are removed as well. So there's the cells. A total of internal 4x3. Which I think is a nice size. It means, then, that the entrance... I want to be... I want to have the entrance probably in here, like that, a bit bigger actually, like that. So there's our entrance, like that you see, comes down here, goes into there. Then I want a security room, like that. That's just annoying. Uh, security room like that. And then my plan was to have across here treatment areas. And can we have it along there? We could have along there. So there is our psychologists. Psychiatrists, rather. One, two, three, four with the corridor. Bit big, the corridor, but that is the building. So they're all in here, then they'll go out to the psychiatrist. I don't know. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24... Today's beverages, coffee. Whether or not that will do it, I have no idea. But you don't know until you know. And there's no way we can find out unless we even attempt this thing in the first place. So there is a 4x4 security building. We'll have a walkway, a block off like that. So you'll come in. Actually, we'll make it a little bit bigger. It seems to be a bit undersized there. I'll not come across like that, you see. So they'll come down into there and then out that away and then we'll have uh, actually I really prefer the thing like that so double door double door then we'll have all the walkways so we could have a yard around here so pathways sort of like that pathways along here pathway along there I always go with a double for some reason this could be our yard we do need a shower block and I'm tempted to put it. Tempted to put it like. This is one big yard. Nice open green area. Nice fresh air. Not nature. Good. Maybe. Have a. Another building here. 
and walkways across there. So this is our security bit, then obviously main area. Another building for whatever we need. I have a feeling more treatment. And then we can have showers here if we need to. That's, I don't think, unreasonable. If I have, if this is a building that size, how many showers will we fit in there? Not enough is the question, is the answer to that, I don't think. So that's a uh, 11. 17, I think, in total. Not enough. Not enough for everyone to shower. So the question is, do I want showers in the, each of the cells? It's possible, isn't it? It is possible that I can do that. Anyway, over to building, and we are going to crack on with it. So, over to there. To that size only. Oops, hang on. To that size only. We'll get us what we need. This is only what we need. I'm not going to get the inmates in straight away anyway. Um, it does say... On the intake, uh, this is going to be a large jail, uh, sorry, a jail door. But we'll probably end up changing that to something with an automatic door opener. There we are. Yeah, so I'm not too sure that we get inmates come in and then they end up criminally insane. It does say their intake categories, criminally insane. You cannot request criminally insane inmates until you have padded cells already for a padded cell, hold, or a padded holding cell. Which we haven't got a holding cell. And, ah, uh, we've got the problem with... <laughs> they're trying to take the direct route and are doing some weird gymnastics. There's some pathing problem with that. Okay. For the time being, then, demolish that wall, prioritise it, speed up to max speed. Someone will come along, remove that, and then, there we go. They all then start going, although they have left... <laughs> A bit of a mess in that corner. Excellent. Okay, so. We're building that. That's planned off. I'm going to... It does say assign... Sadly, it says assign the dog handlers and armed guards. Now, we don't currently have either. But I'm going to research them just to get a grant done. This is obviously a area that we're not going to frequent very often. Um, I'm going to put a fence in there. Oh, I haven't got enough money for that. But I should be able to increase our bank loan. Like that. And I'm going to keep increasing it to quite a high amount. Now, this is something we don't normally do. But it's a needs must scenario. Place that in there. Because we do want to set this to particular member of staff only and things. Deployment, staff only. Not all that, that, all that set. This one is insane sec. Yep. Yeah. That's staff only. This is not staff only. That isn't. That isn't actually in the compound that we were going to build. It's just how it is. And that is now fine. So, we are currently researching then our armed guards and also. Oh, building brick. No. That was almost an expensive mistake. We're currently researching a couple of things, mainly to do with uh, securities type stuff. But what we'll do is we'll build this building in the center here. This is going to be kennel and armory. Now, why have I put the wrong door in? I'll have to cancel that. We don't lose the money, which is good. Because there's already some bits in there. See that it already fills in the bits that isn't uh, isn't there, so that's quite good. But then we'll put the proper door in, staff door this time, rather than a standard door. So this is going to be, well, temporarily it's going to be a couple of things. It's going to be the kennel, and then it'll be an armory as well, just so we can get that grant done, governmental security ratings. So kennel. It's not yet unlocked. Quite his dogs. Ah, one minute. There you go, done. <laughs> it was just... Uh, just wait a second or two for it to be uh, sorted. And there's the kennel in. 
So, ah, surrounded by walls and doors. Right, it doesn't need to be the end. So, if I do have the kennel like this... Oh, there we go. Still haven't got arrows on the dog crate. I don't know if that's the right orientation or not, but we'll see. No, it's not. We can see it's not. So, hang on. Dismantle. 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 So, the dog crate. And place one in the centre so I know what the orientation is. Right, so, that. There we go. So there's the kennel in. Let's get some utilities into that. And the armory will go down the bottom, but I'll have to put some temporary walls in. This over here will eventually become the security room. So it'll have armory in down the bottom behind a, a hardened door, a uh, security door, as well as the automatic door openers and all the such things like phone taps in there and CCTV if we do decide to go down that route. So, in terms of the staff, we have armory in six hours. We don't have remote access, but we don't yet need it. In terms of the next grants, which is MaxSec infrastructure, uh, we don't have the ability to do that. We can't get any of these. We could get rid of criminally insane wing and put reform through education initiative on the go. That gives us a bit more advanced payment, if you look at that, 15, but we haven't even got any of the stuff that is required so like the, uh, the we haven't got like library we haven't got classroom we haven't got any of that i mean this this is obviously uh very at the moment very very um in flux <laughs> but this is the new dlc with the new update as well as a large map so it's a lot of things getting thrown at us at what in one go really so i want to carpet that but i can't do it I want to get some prisoners by the end of this episode. So we're going to go ahead and go to Regime. And we're going to go to Free Time and set everything to Free Time. Because that's generally how we do things. Uh, free Time up till about there. I do tend to have sleep like that. And then we'll have... As soon as it is finished, we will have straight away to the shower. Then over to... Uh, I like a couple of hours of yard time. But I don't know if it's good to put it around there maybe a shower a couple of hours of yard time although the shower and the yard are right next to each other so it shouldn't actually cause too much of an issue there so maybe only one hour of mandatory yard time then the free time then a couple of hours of eat and then one two three four well basically just max this out up until about there followed by eat at the end and then we have a lock up right in the middle, which gives us four hours at either side. That is a rough, rough one what we go for at the moment. Medium meal quantity, meal variety, pro cut off 33%. We haven't even got parole, so I'm not really too worried about it. In terms of programs, we're not running anything. Right, let's just unpause it and wait for a little bit of time in order to get that done. Armory's almost done anyway, so that is acceptable. Armory will then go in here. Um, although... I'm not. I'm tempted to change that up. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to put it in there. Because that means adding and removing walls and all that sort of thing. Whereas if I just go to armory, designate all that as armory, it's now classes indoors. So we just need to put in a couple of things that it requires. Guard locker, two of them, weapons rack, table. Yeah, getting those in will give me enough money to then buy... Actually, it won't have enough. Oh, it will... No, it won't. One. And two. Followed by... Two dog handlers. Ooh, look at the funds. The funds aren't great. Okay, so... <laughs> patrols. And it is... Dog handlers, one, two... Arm guards, one, two. Grant done. Remove all of those. Remove magenta patrols. And then go ahead and sack. Where is it? Staff. Sack the arm guards. Because we're not having arm guards in this facility. Danger level now going down. I think the reason it kicked up a little bit there is because that's just the default thing that happens when you get arm guards. I think it does inflate that somewhat. And the plan is not to have arm guards here. It doesn't seem right. Um, not saying that we might not go down the route later on, but at the moment, that is not my intention. So, 
we have MaxSec Infrastructure Grant, Reform Through Education Initiative, and Manufacturing Facility. Manufacturing Facility, we haven't planned on uh, getting one, so it's unlikely that that'll happen. The MaxSec is reasonable. Body armor and tasers, that seems reasonable. And that gives us the biggest advance payment, which will allow us to mainly pay off that loan. Because we're losing so much money. So, it's just a little bit now of... Um, oh, look at that. That doesn't go all the way to the end there. I'm going to increase this water pipe to that section there. Run up a water pipe and then start plumbing in this, which is the laundry machine. This is for the laundry, so that's then plumbed in. Everything else is pretty much there. So, what we need to do now is go to our walls and doors and put in this... Oh, do I need this compound? No, I don't. I don't need it. It is not necessary. What is necessary is checking out utilities. Going to the capacitor. One, two, three, four capacitors are going to go in there. Over to objects. Metal detectoring will go in here. Um, one, two, sadly, three, four. Quite expensive. And then the last bit that I think is absolutely mandatory is to run across there like that. And that gets in most of the stuff we need. That's going to come down to there. That's going to go across. It's then going to go to there. And that will give us the walkways for the kitchen. Speaking of the kitchen, it is not yet fully furnished. So I will have to go one, two, and three. Out of money. That's it. No money. We've ran out of money, which means time to go to intake and get some prisoners. In terms of the prisoners that we are going to get, I don't really know. I am tempted to go Minsec to begin with. And then work our way up if need be. My intention of this series was to check out the psych ward stuff. And that's to do with this side, which we haven't yet built fully. We know what sort of prisons we can get and what they do. Minsec 300, Medsec 500, Maxsec 1000, and Supermax 2000. Has that changed? Uh, feels like it has. I'm reading the patch notes. Rebalance daily payments for high-risk inmates. Max sec protective custody and death row and criminally insane pay more. Thought something had changed. <laughs> I was thinking, I was thinking that there. Um, criminally insane is three grand a time. We're not going to do that. We're going to turn off the intake for med sec. Prisoner transfer. High-risk prisoners too dangerous for the prisons. That is something that I do want to try at some point. The prisoner transfer. That's going to be quite interesting because they're basically legendary prisoners as far as I'm aware. So yeah, what we're going to do is go to fill capacity. Uh, we're going to go over to deployment. And make sure that that is set to uh, their minsec, all of those. Um, actually, we just need to change it to that. It's just about where they are stationed. So that is that now put in. And I think we will leave it there for this episode. Right. In 16 hours' time, we will receive prisoners. We will receive 20 prisoners, which will take us... Uh, is it three... Uh, yes, it's three. So we're going to get six grand per day. So that'll offset the negatives that we have. That'll allow us to then start thinking about expansion and more money and more sell box and all of that sort of thing. So hopefully we are well on our way to having a decent facility. So next episode, we'll go ahead and crack on with what I've just mentioned. And hopefully it won't burn down. And it also means we have to get a lot of other things put in sharpish. And what I'm happy to see is that the workers are going in there, placing it and then going that way, which is exactly what we wanted anyway we will leave it there next episode we will crack on hope you have enjoyed the video on the series thus far thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings